Hello guys and uh, welcome to this little mini video about the music industry and the research I've done on it. So um, I'm going to be looking at new technology today and how that new technology has changed the way that the music industry operates. So a long time ago if you wanted to become a big star, you and your band would perform in the pubs and clubs across the UK and hope that some big uh, music producer is watching in the audience and then would take a, take a chance on you. But it's a lot different today thanks to new technology as I was saying. So the first thing you can do, it's so so easy nowadays to just film, record, edit your own music in your room. You see lots of YouTube stars um, who start on YouTube end up becoming proper pop stars through just recording on their phones, on their iPads, on their laptops, just with a guitar or any type of instrument, piano, just sitting and making and writing songs. And that's um, an easy way to do it now with uh, the prices of these technology, which used to be only for the for the rich and who were in the music industry could afford these microphones and other things like that. That's my cat just getting up down there. Um, and yeah, they could only afford it if you're in the music industry, but now you can get microphones, like even the quality of cameras on phones is easy as well. So to record and self self record music and edit on these softwares, which you can get on on computers now, um, has made it a lot easier for. <laughs> has made it a lot easier for people to make and break into the uh, music industry. Um, another thing is a thing called looping, which I'm a big fan of the uh, artist pop star uh, Ed Sheeran, and he does this thing where he can loop, plays the guitar and uses his foot to, you know, balance things, and I don't exactly know how it works, but looping is another way of technology and how that's evolved the music industry in particular. It's added this new layer to music which um, it's an editing software, I suppose, but it's allowed people like Ed Sheeran to be so have a, such a unique selling point, which no one else has, um, and has enabled him to hit stardom. And the last thing he's talking about things like iTunes, Spotify, all these YouTube music, these app, these applications on your phone and on your computers, etc., which makes downloading music free. You you used to have to go to the record store and get like vinyl stuff if you wanted to listen to music. You just stick the radio on in your car or get iTunes or anything like that now. So it's a lot easier nowadays to stream music as well as record it and edit it. Um, and that's all down to new technology. So that is my research.